Yeah, Coach, I, I think in the first game week, you mentioned that the back of quarterback would depend on when that need kind of arose. But all we have seen is Will Howard at this point. Has he just made that substantial of improvement since then? Yeah, yeah I really feel like uh, you know, from day one, he he jumped out at you pretty good. But, but he's continued to grow, continued to understand the system, um, has done a nice job taking care of the football if it's in practice or obviously in the game and 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 right now I feel comfortable with him I also feel comfortable if, if Nick is put in a position to play um I think he'll do a good job as well but but Will has kind of you know grasped it a little bit and, and done a nice job with it Jacardi Wright didn't play in the first game but it seems like he's played a little bit more with each one since then as he kind of ascending back up to the trajectory we saw from him last year towards the end of the season you know, a little bit of a work in progress. You know, I, I told some other some other media folks that it, a little bit of it depends on the package that he's in. You know, early last week uh, he played maybe two or three plays in the first maybe eight or nine, ten plays, um, and and it, it just depends on how the game's flowing and and the package that we have him in. Um, so he could play some. You know, shoot, he could go out there and play 15, 20 snaps, or or he could end up with two or three. It just depends on how the game flows. All right, thanks, coach. Yeah. Kels. Hey, Courtney, do, do you have a sense yet for how much you might want to play Skyler, might want to play Will, or maybe even play both of them against DCU? Well, yeah, a little bit more just kind of a work in progress of how things flow and how, how Skyler continues to, to come along. And, um, you know, the biggest thing is for us is just, hey, we all got to stay in mentally on what they do because TCU has a obviously everybody knows over the last 20 years have had great defenses and we've got to really understand what they're trying to do and, and, and take care of the football and, and just do a good job executing whichever guy's in there. You've had back-to-back -back weeks where uh, lining up Deuce Vaughn in the slot has worked out very well for you. What is it about him in that position that uh, has led, you know, led to these explosive plays? Well, I, I think the biggest thing is uh, he's very, very comfortable catching the football. And then, you know, anytime you can get him in space, you know, one of the biggest things he brings to the table is quickness and quick twitch. And, and if he can get out in space, he's probably going to get open, and, and he does a great job catching the football without fighting it. John? Yeah, Courtney, I guess just to clarify then, you're, you're saying it's still day-to-day -day kind of a thing with Skyler, depends on how he progresses as to whether or not he's available. Yep. Yes, sir. And with, with Will, how comfortable is he with the typical – out of offensive playbook that would be available, say, to Skyler? I mean, how much do you have to shrink it if, if he is the guy? Um, you know, a little bit, uh, but but not a not a bunch. You know, uh, he's he's very, very cerebral. He's a guy that really spent a lot of time in the COVID time in the spring going through cut-ups and, and trying to continue to learn, and Skyler did a good job helping him learn. Um, obviously, he missed the physical reps of no spring ball and, and not having, quote, those captains-type practices in the summer. But as far as uh, uh, mentally learning who we are and what we do, um, I, I don't believe I'd have to shrink the playbook very much. Like best, just when you went back and looked at the film of what he did last week. Uh, well, the best thing is uh, taking care of the football and operating in and out of the huddle. I mean, those are two huge deals in our style of football. Thanks, Courtney. Yep. Got two more here, starting with Michael. You there, Michael? Okay, we're going yeah. to Jackson. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Michael. Yeah, Courtney, how crucial has this turnover story been, and how do you impart that wisdom to Will Howard? Well, uh, uh, for us, the turnover is, is, is huge, and, and knock on wood, we just need to every week go out and every play go out and take care of the football. Um, that and scoring, scoring when we get opportunity in the red zone, we've got to keep doing a nice job with that. Um, and, and it's not just Will, it's not just uh, any individual, it's, it's, it's the entire 11 that are out there, understanding that, you know, if you're a tight end and you miss a block and somebody uh, hits the back when he doesn't expect it, a turnover could happen. And, and all of us got to understand they're a big part of taking care of the football. Thanks. Jackson. Yeah, Coach, you, you talked a little bit earlier about how Will's kind of taken some jumps and separated himself as being the, the second guy in line. Is he where you thought he would be at developmentally by now? 
uh, I'm very happy with where he is at. Um, I, I don't know if I had a, uh, any great or any expectation that he should be here or should be there. Um, the thing that I do know is once he got on campus, his desire to learn um, was, was off the charts. And, and that's, that's, that's a huge deal. But just learning the playbook um, doesn't, doesn't get you to produce out there on the game field. You got to be able to take the playbook to the field. And he's done a nice job of that. And then I, I guess to this point, what you've seen from him, where does he have the biggest room for improvement moving forward? Well, I think with uh, every guy that's the, their really first, second, third type games in there, it's, it's how quickly can I process and get it out of my hand? Um, because just using TCU as an example, their back end is extremely quick. It's, they are fast. They can run. Um, so those windows are going to shrink. You've got you to process and pull the trigger and get it out of your hand. You know, I'm not saying that it's exactly this way, but because I've never coached in the NFL, but they talk all the time that college quarterbacks now, it's got to become that much quicker, that much faster decision, because the windows close faster. And that's what it's going to be when you play TCU. That, their DBs can really, really run. And then just one last question for you, Coach. What has Skyler's role this week been in developing those uh, secondary quarterbacks like, like Will this well, week? Well, Skyler's just done a phenomenal job of staying focused and, and, and like making sure he understands the game plan. And, and all of those guys uh, with, get, get with Coach Klein and, and really go through, um, hey, this is what we're thinking. This is what we believe we're going to see. This is how we want to attack it. And all the quarterbacks have done a great job just being on the same page. Now we got to go execute on Saturday. Thanks, Coach. Last one here, the Zoom background, King Fitz. Coach, um, you lost Viking Gill last week uh, to an injury, and Josh Youngblood was out. Do you have an updated status? Will Youngblood be available this weekend? Uh, I anticipate uh, Josh playing, yes, and, and he's definitely, definitely in the game plan. When it comes to receivers, do you have anyone else now that Gill's probably gone for the season that you might work in there that might be next in line to start seeing some Well, time? you know, I think the guy, and he's already been getting some some reps, not a million, but some reps is, is Landry Weber. And he's a huge special teams guy for us. But um, Landry and Seth Porter could see the field easily as a, in a receiver role. And then Sebastian and Malik and, and Brooks have got to keep stepping up with, with, with Josh as far as we've got enough guys. We just got to get them uh, – all to be in there, all to be playing together in, in their roles. Obviously, we don't have room for, for six of them out on the field at one time, but they've all got their roles, and they've got to they stay healthy and keep learning and keep growing as both physically and mentally.